Good morning. So I'm starting off with my iced Americano, three pumps sugar-free mocha, and life cereal. I love this cereal. It's so good with some unsweetened almond milk. And I just did half cup cereal, half cup of the milk, and had it with some sliced mangoes, of course, my favorite. And snack was baby carrots and this lemon sparkling water. I love the lemon one the best. For lunch, I had two of these. This is a flat out folded um, flatbread, and it's the five grain flax one. I just spread some pizza sauce on it and some fat free shredded cheese. And these are so good, these pepperoni snack bites. This is the turkey one. I found them at Target for a dollar. And yeah, they're so delicious. So what I did was just make a little mini pizza. I put in the toaster oven and there you go. It was so good. Like I said, I ended up having two of these. So yeah. And I also really close after I had a snack and the kids wanted some of it too. It was just blueberries with a squisher. Squisher is a yogurt if you're not familiar with it. I just wanted to make it a little fancy. Sometimes when I do things like this, it makes it a lot more fun to eat, you know, foods like that. <laughs> so dinner time, I just um, made some shredded chicken in the crock pot. This is all recipe by Daily Dose of Pepper. I love her blog and I follow her on Instagram. So everything I'm showing you here, I will have a link down below to her site. She's got so many recipes that are delicious. So far, everything I've made off of her blog has been amazing, no joke. And she has the smart points as well, so I highly recommend checking her out. I wanna give her this credit because she definitely deserves it. So um, yeah, we just made this chicken bake that had bacon and cheese and oh my gosh, you guys could just see right here how amazing this bubble up looks, like seriously. And it was only eight smart points per serving. So, like I said, go ahead and check her out. For dessert, I love me some protein packed dark chocolate flapjack and waffle mix stuff by Kodiak Cakes. So, I just did a third of the mix, a third of water, and then I added some dinosaur sprinkles. This recipe was actually inspired by someone else, um, Drizzle Me Skinny on Instagram. She's made these before, but with cake mix, but mine was pretty simple. And yeah, loved it, delicious. 